Hello everyone! Caught off the heels of just playing Code 7 last night, this morning I'm trying out Cyber Manhunt. Cyber Manhunt is a story-oriented puzzle game focusing on big data, hacking, citizen privacy, and social workers. It focuses on social issues such as cyber violence and privacy breaches, released February 2nd, 2021, developed and published by Aluba Studio, as you can see in the lower right-hand corner. So, um, Code 7, uh, when I played it last night, Great narrative, um, really light on uh, the actual hacking, and that game builds itself as a story-oriented hacking adventure or something like that. Um, so I was intrigued by it, but there wasn't really a lot of hacking in it. It was more like a choose-your-own-adventure, um, where you're just kind of selecting dialogue options and hitting return to do things. Um, and while Cyber Manhunt, the title, leads me to believe that there may be some, you know, uh, cyber crime uh, or law enforcement or, or hacking uh, whatever available. Uh, this one is billing itself as a story-oriented puzzle game, focusing on big data hacking and citizen privacy. And so uh, just the way it's being billed alone um, leads me to believe that if this were to be more like uh, what I experienced with Code 7, I would be, obviously, my expectations are set. This is a puzzle game that just has hacking themes. So uh, let's try it out. All right, create a new user. Username, poopy pie. New save file we created, the new, <laughs> okay. Once registered, username cannot, well, that is my name. That's my legal name, so why would I want to change it? It says it right on my passport, poopy pie. Uh, and I know what you're thinking. Downey, the capital of the Republic yes, of Bolivia I am is related the to PewDiePie. The it's just, uh, you know, when my ancestors came to America, as with so many country. immigrants, uh, the name was changed to PewDiePie. Messaging at PyTalk have become the most popular softwares in the country. Are... Recently, there's been a spike in cases of online fraudulent marriages. Numerous victims were deceived. The government published a white paper on wildlife protection, which banned the hunting. Many recent wildlife. suicide cases of teenagers have aroused concern in society. Investigation shows Experts that Experts call on people to maintain a positive mentality, handle pressure calmly, and deal with changes. The world's going to hell in a handcart. Yeah, seems like it says system status abnormal, but all of this seems very normal to me living in 2022. Like, this is business as usual. <laughs> The system is restarting. Okay. Lalos, Rog, Guati. Oh. A ringing phone must be answered. Hey, Ashley, who, are the, who the hell are you? Hey, my name is Ashley Clayson, CIO of Titan Matrix. All right. Oh. You gotta click to continue. All right, fancy pants. What's up? I'm mainly up? responsible for data and information <clears throat> management. You can call me Ashley. Well, that's nice of you. You can call me Poopy Pie. We're quite impressed by your background, but there is a final test before we can make you an offer. So please take it seriously. We hope you will be able to join us and change the world together. I don't like it when a CIO tells me they want to change the world. That usually means something bad. But okay. Uh, what should I do? Although our database has collected over 1 billion bytes of user data, many important details are still missing. If you have a billion bytes of data, maybe you have enough details. Have you considered that? Besides, how many users is a... I mean, a billion... A billion bytes? Wait a second, that's actually not that much. Hold on a moment here. <laughs> we need more people with hacking skills to help Titan investigate and improve these data. Okay. Doesn't sound like you're looking for someone with hacking skills. Because if you're looking for someone with hacking skills and this data is not being collected boop, um, ethically. Sounds like you need somebody... Well, whatever. Are you sure I can do... Well, that's not a very good thing to ask in an interview. Of course. Of course. I will explain the details later. But for now, that's all you need to know. Alright. Let's get to stealing data. Before you officially start working... Let's have a warm-up. Okay. The company will evaluate your ability based on this test, so do your best. I don't do great with tests, but okay. I, I, it doesn't sound interesting, but I only have one response. But Your mission is to hack into the data center of Titan. Consider it a testing okay. of our security system. 
if any random hacker could do this, then it's obviously not very good. The fact that this is even part of your interview process is very concerning. Of course this won't be an easy task. After all, we hired Chief AI Scientist Tom Blanco to personally design the system. <laughs> okay, Chief AI Scientist is doing your security design? I, I, you know what? I withdraw my application. Thank you for your consideration. Best of luck to you. <laughs> oh, oh, it hurts because it's true. Oh, my God. Don't hire chief AI scientists to do security design or engineering. Just don't. And don't ask, don't ask interviewees to try to break into your environment as part of the interview process. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, but oh. an excellent right hacker in, like right yourself in the feels. should have no problem completing the task. But an excellent hacker like yours, okay. The easiest way to hack into the data center is by obtaining the admin key of the remote network. Yeah, it seems like if you really believe in my skills this much, then this whole thing is kind of moot. Why not just give me the job? Uh, by obtaining the admin key of the remote network. Okay. But you should know that the administrator's info is encrypted. Well, I mean, I should hope so. Jesus. And I won't reveal any of the info to you. Well, I mean, social engineering is the most reliably exploited attack vector. I bet I could get you to talk. I bet I could. But we do have his nickname on Toothbook. TC191. Toothbook? TC191. Okay. You will have to look up his other information, which should be a walk in the park for you. I'm sure you won't let us down. Like I need to remember TC191. Sounds like my kind of thing. All right, your mission target will be displayed here. Collecting useful clues will help you to complete the mission. When it reaches 100%, you may submit the mission. Obtain the access key from administrator. Target known. We can start the first mission. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't have to remember it. Alrighty. Collect clues will be stored in its sh in shared folder and classified based on the logos behind the clues. She's available to conduct social work. Um, the Steam page, which I was confused when I read it, said this is a story-oriented puzzle game focusing on big data hacking, citizen privacy, and social workers. And I saw that social workers was obviously out of place in that list, but I didn't think anything of it because I was like, okay, maybe this is a dystopian future kind of thing where you're actually like helping people. But now that I see this, it leads me to believe that the developer and publisher Luba Studios, are they based in the US? Is this a language barrier thing? I think that they are confusing social workers with social engineers. I think that to them, social workers are social engineers because and not social workers as they are known in the U.S., which if you're not familiar, social workers are those that work uh, with um, uh, people who are less fortunate, who are disabled or uh, uh, or in poverty or uh, what have you uh, to help them um, to. Uh, get to a point where they can become self-sufficient and to, they, they work cases of people and families to to try and get them access to services and things that they need in order to to live in the dystopian hellscape of America in 2022. Um, but uh, I don't think that's what they mean. Because based on the logos behind the clues, choose from available methods to conduct social work. And I'm not doing social work. I, I think that they mean... Well, for, this would be an OSINT investigation leading to social engineering, most likely. I think we got a bit of an issue here. Anyway, <clears throat> if you find information of more than one characters, you can click on the avatar here to switch among the characters, okay? You can tell me this now, game. Let me tell you. The odds that I will remember it are increasingly small. All right, so we have two... Okay. Search this keyword in the browser and see what you get. Okay, click on the clue and click copy. Click on the clue, click copy. 
Open the browser. Okay. Go, go. Paste the keyword into the search box or manually input TC191. Uh, so, yeah, this is an OSINT investigation. We're just using a public search engine to see what we get back on the information we're finding. There's Toothbook right there. Taste the Kuka. It's important to review the search results. Obviously, not all the results are relevant to our target. Okay. Click on the Toothbook link to enter the social network of the target person. I, okay. Don't let me explore or anything. Just, yeah, whatever. So we did an OSINT investigation. We found a social media profile, and now we are going to try and find a way to social engineer them into giving up information. So this is not social work at all. This is definitely... Okay. Well, I mean, I'm kind of relieved because social work in the United States is obviously a very difficult job and can be extremely emotionally draining. So I'm not... I wasn't looking forward to stimulating that part of it. So <clears throat> please read carefully and find every piece of useful information. Why? When I can just click and you'll just take me there. This seems to be the real name of the target person, which can be collected into the shared folder. Are you Thomas Conway? The way you speak has not changed over the past 20 years. What a weird comment to leave on somebody's thing, dude. In the game, you need to find useful clues. After clicking the clue, click collect button. Uh, yeah, okay. Whatever. Click, collect. All right. All right, now, if, I, if this were an actual OSINT investigation and I were really looking for information, I would be also checking the hell out of this Foman 920 guy, but I'm guessing we're going to skip that. Continue to investigate this toothbrush account. There may be other useful information. So, yeah, I would... No. <laughs> this person says they know him. Let's check them out. We also see a, a year here, 20 years. So they knew each other apparently 20 years ago. Get Dig into that. Do it. Click, 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 click. It's not... It's not. Okay, fine. <sighs> Recent visitors. Ooh, we collect those too. Collect the shit out of those. No. Okay. Basketball. Collect that information. Internet practitioner. Oh, dude. Dude, 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 dude. It's from Gaudi. Why can't I collect any of this information? This is all useful. Look at that. There's even a place. Life experience, behavior record, hobbies, basketball. Right there. Or is this crossed out because it's already collected? I don't know. Recent visitors. There's connections right here. I don't know. This is... <sighs> the rainy season this year is so long. I hate this terrible weather. That's what we call temporal and geographic information. So this was... Uh, is the rainy season coming? This was in May. This was in Ju July, rather. Um... So we would collect that because that shows us that during these times, you know, the, the weather is related to both time and place. So let's have a drink. Are you asking a baby out? Oh, well, yeah. Related pictures. Birthday photo. Look the picture. To view the full picture using collect useful clues function. You can look up clues useful uh, the, the picture. Okay, that's a birth date. Yes. Okay, so click this. Open. Collect information. God, it's just this easy too. When you're doing forensic iconography and you're looking for clues that are on a in, in an image, you just in your brain click the collect information button and it does a little weird matrix scan and then you get all the information out of it. This is very true to life. I'm being I'm being extremely sarcastic if that's not that's not clear. Dude posted a picture of himself as a baby on his toothbook profile. Real name, blah, blah, blah. Okay, come on. I can't really go over to I don't want to. Okay. Before using this database, please review the special disclaimer thoroughly by using the database you've known to you have read. I understand. Okay, that's not legally binding. Uh, I'll start using. Stop interrupting me. So in order to log into this highly secure database, you need their real name 
and one piece of information about them. Am I reading this correctly? To avoid using duplicate names, additional info is required. It, this isn't a login, this is just a search. Okay. All right. Then that makes a little bit more sense. Date of birth. 04241980. Start query. Permission denied. Failed. Insufficient information. Unable to obtain results. Please provide more information. Let's see. Did I do, did I do that right? I think I did it wrong. I don't think I'm supposed to have a qualifier. I think I just put it in the thing. Yeah, I just put in the thing. Okay. We have found information on the target. Collected quickly. Okay. Sorry for the sniffing. I have allergies. Congratulations, you obtained his email address. Each person's mailbox is always important. I mean, many useful clues may be hidden in it. Okay. We still need the password to log into the mailbox. You should have enough personal details. Try the hacking tool to obtain the password based on his details. This is very... Not true to life at all. We're getting farther and farther. It started out not bad. Like, the OSINT investigation uh, was pretty... I mean, a, a realistic simulation, I guess. Uh, but as with most of these games, the more we get into actual security work, the more it becomes like a weird sci-fi, like, not sci-fi, um, gamified version of it. Because, I mean, honestly, this this part of the work is, is pretty boring to look at. So, um, I didn't read what it said, but I don't really care. Thomas Con Conway. Uh, his nickname was TC191. DOB 0424-1980. House number 7. Uh, ID. I don't want to enter in all those freaking numbers so let's do telephone number three eight five why is there so okay i have to enter oh my god he oh wait no I, I can just do the thing where i do this copy paste there we go all right crack that baby yeah this is tom 1980 <laughs> Uh, 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 getting messy up here. Let's close some of these. I have obtained a password. Okay, yeah, whatever. Come on. Yeah, stop. Um, hmm. the access key by fishing. Okay. Thomas, I received you in the HR department. You've always been the hardest working in our I give you a fair review, but you have to wait. I have to go to Demanra on business for a few days until the 20th. I encountered some complex problems. Okay. Staff evaluation. Your application submitted and received by the HR department. Tom, I well, your work. Blah, blah, blah. Saw your tooth book. Oh, this is the guy. Uh, Foman, your high school classmate. I haven't seen you anywhere. I don't know if you are still using this mailbox. Contact me if you see this. Right, William Knight. Great. Oh, it's you. Long time no see. Let's chat on high talk. You can add my ID. Oh, yoink. Trash. Close. Compose. Is that it? Okay. Uh, I talk account. 
toothpick, shopping, happy sharing. That's not what I wanted to do. Hi, talk. No? Okay. I can't go into fishing yet. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Okay. Database, what? It says database and fishing, but I can't go to fishing yet. So database? Oh, hold on, my allergies are bothering me. Okay. To that high talk account. Uh Homos Conway. Uh, what do we get? We already have, we already have all this, don't we? Yeah, collected. So, you should let me go to fishing then. Why won't you let me go to fishing? Tab to continue searching. No, that's not what I want to do. I probably should have read the uh, instructions there, because. Knows. Switch user. It said something about a default account. I don't know. <coughs> it said something about a default account, but I don't remember what it said. <laughs> Let's log in. Wrong account. Okay. What did I miss? <coughs> ah. Man. <coughs> no. Nope. Um. What I really need is let's chase here we go again. God, it's like it never fails. It never fails. I start recording and then something happens. And it's not uh oh, I'm so sorry. I'm trying not to sniffle here. It's just kinda happening. Alright, let's get back to the email because that's the step we left off on. Oh, there we go. Mr. Tom Blanco, the chief engineer of your department. All right. God damn it. Here we go again. Just sneezing and sniffling. When we have the high talk ID of the target person and the information of the people around him, we can pretend to be his friend and try fishing him. Okay. It's because people tend to trust familiar faces more than strangers. Well, yeah, no shit. Maybe we can pose as the head of the network department, a seemingly senior position. It may help you to get the access key. Okay. Oh, the now fishing is available. Okay. <clears throat> All right. When the requirement for fishing is met, you can disguise yourself to fish the target person during the fishing process. You can trace the words will affect the level of trust that the target person has on you. The stronger the trust, the better the chance of getting the desired clues. Okay. Before you start fishing, you better browse the target's mailbox again and remember the key information.
Oh, okay. I gotta stop. Stop this. All right. You must be talking about this. I have to go to demand on business review. Come back on the twentieth. Okay. Or I'll sneeze again first. Okay, let's start. Hey, Thomas, this is William Knight. Hello, Mr. Knight. Something wrong so late in the evening? About performance evaluation. I'm going to give you the highest score. Really, it's great I'll receive your compliment. I will do my best. <clears throat> okay, come on. I'm not actually typing any of this or choosing anything. It's, I'm just waiting for these things to go by. <clears throat> I told you already in the email, dummy. The 20th. Select. Okay. Once you get the information from me, you can submit it. This will complete your mission. He did not let us down. Now Thomas Conway is getting fired. That's what this is really all about. You're trying to clean house and you just need somebody to help you do it. And you figure, hey, we'll just do this interview thing and then people will do it for us and then we don't have to pay them for it because it's just an interview. I see what you I see what you're getting at here, Ashley. The operation is perfect. <clears throat> Our senior management is quite happy with your ability. Well, if senior management's happy, then I'm happy. Right? That's what this is all about. Keeping senior management happy. Welcome. You are now part of Titan. Hey, I, I haven't accepted shit. We need to talk compensation right now. Because I'm not lifting a finger until we, we have that conversation. Uh, that is not an option, so I guess I can't wait to start the job. Oh boy. I am part of the Titan family. Okay. Target completion mission time. Uh, information collected. Play again. Okay. Well, I don't want to play again. I also don't want to continue. Let's keep going, though. Uh, save. Okay. Poopy pie. Death of a programmer. Gaming time, 27 minutes. All right. Uh, so, that's apparently the end of the first mission. That will be the tutorial mission. Um, uh, it's not not bad. Uh, I mean, there's there's a mixed bag here. I really, I really like the variety of tasks. So, I liked how it went through the process of the recon phase a little bit. Not in depth, but a little bit. We did a little OSINT. Uh, we did a little fishing. Uh, we did a little bit, I, th there's some things here that are a little bit too dramatized in my opinion. The database, I didn't care for it. The cracking, I didn't care for it. Uh, it was too much, like, just, it wasn't, there wasn't enough real life el elements to add any verisimilitude. They were completely fictionalized. But the other elements that had at least an element of truth in them, like the OSINT investigation and the fishing and stuff, I really like those. Um, it is just kind of a point and click kind of thing. I, I, didn't have to type at all. It was just click, 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 click. But again, with my expectations being set by uh, the description in Steam of it being a puzzle game with hacking themes, I was prepared for that this time, and um, I really didn't mind it at all because of that. So uh, overall, Cyber Man Hunt, not too bad. Not a, not a hacking game, but a puzzle game with hacking themes, and, and I can get behind that uh, no problem. So... Uh, I got a couple more actually queued up in Steam that I'm going to try uh, a little bit. Uh, a couple of them are, uh, well, 
sort of the, uh, the the gold standard for hacking games, I think, at least at this point. So I'm uh, looking forward to playing those. Uh, so I guess come back and, and see how those turn out. So bye.